In this, hopefully the last part of this uh, directory tutorial, as you can see, we already uploaded all our 3381 records in our local environment, as you can see here. But in today's episode, we will be shipping this directory to an actual web server with our domain. As you can see, I just purchased a domain called tattooshopsaustralia.com. So we will be deploying our directory here once we finalize the appearance and all the things that we need. So I'm going to show you how we can easily do that. Anyway, there are just few steps that we need. We will just need to install the same plugins that we installed here in the local environment and upload the Neve child theme that we customized. So very easy step. So you just need to follow along. Now here we uploaded the 3381 records just to see how it's going to look like. So you will see right here, we have all the completed states listed in the homepage. And when we visit one of the states right here, let's say Victoria, we have all the listings of the cities and within the city, let's say Bakery Hill, and it's listing all the available tattoo shops in Bakery Hill City. Now we will just need to make the appearance of our directory a little bit decent and also put some keywords like the sample here, Bakery Hill. We will have it as tattoo shops near Bakery Hill. That's what we're going to put here in the list of tattoo shops right here. We will also include some more details in this list, like the full address and design this a little bit better. You can go to a website such as teamforest.net and find some inspiration on how you're going to design your directory. So in this case, I think we're going to go ahead and have this as our reference. It's quite simple, yet it looks clean. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to prompt Klein once again to follow the layout and the styling and all the elements that we can get from the sign right here to make our directory look decent before we upload that or ship that to our actual server. Now, the easiest way you can do is take a snapshot of this just like that. And we will ask Klein, so we will paste the screenshot right there and tell Klein to can you make the home page? Okay, this is going to be our prompt. Hopefully, Gemini 2.5 Flash will be able to follow the instruction. So first, we just attach the reference layout that we want to be applied in our home page. Next, we want a hero section. And then we have the placeholder background image that we will add later. And we ask to apply the proper contrast. So their text will be readable. And then here, the next row will be the hero section. We'll do drag downs which will act as filters. So those two dropdowns will be the parent taxonomy, which are the states. And then based on the selected state, it will load the cities. So that's the second dropdown. Now, the next row will be the list of states, just like this. And we'll follow the guidelines of the layout here. Let's run this. Okay, so it looks like Klein completed the request. Now let's go ahead. So it created the separate JavaScript. Um, not sure if this is going to work correctly, but let's see how it goes. That's going back to our homepage right here. So let's refresh this. Oh, there you go, guys. So it looks decent. Later, you can adjust this once you have this in the server. The important thing is to have all our list to the server. We will ship this. And then later on, we can enhance or refine the appearance of this actual directory. We just need to add background image right here, which we're going to do before we deploy that. And as you can see right here, it followed what we instructed. So we have the drop down right here and we have the selection of the city. So based on the selected state, so let's say for example, Victoria. So it's going to, wow, look at this, it's working. So based on the JavaScript that it added, it's working like that. What's missing here, we will just need to add exactly the title of the site right here. And if this one browse via state, so we will add it as H3. And here we will add this as a uh, fine tattoo shop in Australia. So something like that, we will just fix the heading of this one, but this one looks decent. We can add more elements right here. For example, a recent added tattoo shops list, things like that, or recently added post. So those are the things that we will need to add. Also, you can add background image for each of this, which you can do in the later part once we're all satisfied with the layout. Okay. The next thing that we will fix is the side of this state. So when I click one of the state, let's say Victoria, we're going to fix the layout of this. So you have to be familiar by now, uh, the reference file of this, which is the um, one taxonomy state. So here we will ask Klein to make the taxonomy state look pretty 
based on again the reference site that we're looking right here we can have some reference appearance uh go to listing maybe this one okay this is gonna be the actual listing so we want to have all the city lists so maybe we can just ask so we will just simply ask to make the taxonomy state layout look pretty okay things pretty quick let's refresh the page this one right here okay it didn't change much but i think uh put some reference uh on how it's gonna look so I'm going to take a snapshot of this and go back to Klein, paste it right here, and then tell Klein to make it similar to this layout. Okay, so it's basically asking it to make the layout appear like this and have a nice font and a bit large and then have it in card layout. So we will display four cards in each row. So let's see how it goes. Okay, there you go. It's done. So now let's refresh the page. So hopefully we get the proper styling by now. Let's refresh this. There you go. So exactly what we are asking. So four cards in a row. And here is the title. So I'm going to rename this. So go to taxonomy state. And here is the title right here. So we will just going to add. So it's using the archive title. So I think I need to tell the uh, client to have the name as. Uh, so we will have to prepend this tattoo shops in. And then the title of the taxonomy right here. So let's do that. What's going to happen is this one will be tattoo shops in Victoria. So that will become our keyword. Okay, there you go. That's done. So let's refresh this. this. Is what we want tattoo shops in Victoria, but it needs to be center aligned. So we'll just ask that pretty quick. So we will just have more padding top and bottom and also center align the text. Sometimes a little bit stubborn, still not centered aligned. Anyway, we can fix that later. I want to proceed on you know, this actual tattoo shop list. So we're going to ask a client to have the reference it again similar to so we're gonna take another snapshot and then uh, go back to climb and we will ask is simply asking archive state to be according to the screenshot that we attach and also include a full address custom field and the phone all right so let's do that now looks much better now tattoo shops in bakery hill okay have it duplicated right here but that's fine so here i want it to re rename as so let's go to archive state child let's rename it tattoo shops near all right do this let's refresh okay caps near bakery hill okay we have the h1 right here we should be in the middle but later on we can adjust that we have the full address right here and look at that it has the phone which is looking great and we had the street view right there we have the review link if review is available which is really nicely displayed here and i think this looks decent now we can proceed designing the last template so when we go to the actual list we have the actual list right here and we will ask klein one last time to design this so we go and find the our inspiration so let's click this okay we will have it uh, similar to this let's copy okay ask klein to re refer to this screenshot and tell it to fix the layout of single tattoo so that's done so hopefully it will look good so we don't need to prompt it again so let's go back here let's refresh this it looks okay now let's try out some more entries with the uh, one with the working hours all right opening hours it's appearing on the right side and displaying decently so i think we can live with this one so let's find some more this one opening hours is not available so let's go back to uh one baller at central with 10 tattoo shops and let's have a look uh one with the complete details here so let's click this all right displaying nicely right here in the opening store but the thing is the actual uh featured image it's that's displaying full but that's fine uh, i think we can fix that later then the important thing is we have all the listings in our server and we can continue modifying the layout the appearance of the actual website but so far it's looking good i just want to add one more background image right here which i saved here inside the asset so i'm just gonna copy this and tell client to modify the hero background okay that's done let's now uh, check the home page i think uh, that's all we need to upload this to our actual server but let me just do some quick fix here so in the welcome i wanted to have Okay, like that tattoo shops in Australia. So here we're gonna name it Discover Amazing. Uh, it again later you can uh, that. So you can refine your directory as you go along as the days pass. And in the meantime, what important is we launch this and Google will index this 
all the tattoo listings in our website. So that's the most important thing. But I just want to have the correct keyword. So this one should be H1. Okay, H1. And here, we're going to have some heading in this section, in this area, which is right here. So we're going to add uh, and say, just like that, find near tattoo shops in your area. And then another H3 here, which will say, browse tattoo shops via okay so i think that's good enough find tattoo shops in your area things like that so just make sure you apply proper keywords and this one right here we gotta put this inside so it will be center align oh it thumbed up this one so i think it should be outside and later i can just center it i just want to put this all in the server so there you go when you visit one of the uh it's right here queensland and find one tattoo shlan okay up near we have lots of things to fix uh, that uh, his, we will be adding this to the server. First, we will install all our required plugins. You can do the all WP migration, but sometimes it's not necessary if you know the steps of or the plugins that you just need to install. It's very minimal. So here first, the very important plugin, which is the ultimate CSV, because we will be uploading our CSV data right here by Smack Coder. So we're going to install this. So I'm now working on the actual server and activate. All right, that's all you need. And the next thing is add plugin. We will install the advanced custom fields and that's all you need. So you will need to install the themes first, the parent theme, which is Neve. So we're gonna add that and search for Neve. So install this and activate. So the next important configuration that you have to do is of course go to settings and then permalinks can here the permalinks has been applied correctly based on what we set up in our local environment. Now, it's the time to import our CSV files so that while it's importing, we can configure something else. So I'm going to select this uh, CSV importer and similar approach that we did last time. So again, browse the file. And here, we're going to map them correctly and wait for them to be uploaded. Everything, but 3000 plus entries. And here... Okay, before that, we have to set up our ACF. So in the ACF, go to post types, and then we will add a new post type. So this here in the custom post type. So let's just quickly check what we have added here in our local. So here in local, we added tattoo shops. All right, so let's copy this and add the same thing. Okay, just like, and say changes. Now we add the taxonomies taxonomy so this one will be states okay just like and select the post type so we will be selecting the tattoo shop and here in taxonomy do not forget to enable this option right here okay now to sync the custom fields we will need to upload our uh, sub theme which we modify so to upload that we have to install a plugin called wp file manager so this one right here we install this and activate and now let's go to wp file manager so again, don't be confused, guys. I am working on the actual server right here. And we're going to access the themes folder. So going back here to our local, as you can see, this theme need child right here should be uploaded by themes folder. Okay, so that's that. So here, so I just dragged the folder right there. And now it's uploading, as you can see. Now let's check inside the files. All the files are there. Now, do not forget to enable this as the active theme. So go to themes and make sure you activate this as your main theme, as your active theme. There you go. So this is the child theme of this main theme right here. Now we should be able to see the field groups. There you go. The think available and tattoo shops. Okay. That's the we need. We will import it. All right. Now we're ready to upload our CSV. Okay, so here in Marisa, like the correct post type, which is the tattoo shops, continue. And here, make sure you select this drag and drop mode because here we will need to configure the taxonomies correctly. So it should be the parent and the children will be the cities. So first we drag the state and then add a comma and then can drag the state and make sure you add the hyphen and the arrow pointing to the right and then add the city there. And then here in the ACF, we will map them correctly. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so all the fields have been mapped correctly. Now let's go to the WordPress core field. So the title should be the name of the tattoo shop. And here in the content, I'm going to add the 
about uh, details right here. I think everything good. So click on continue. All right. And make sure you tick this so it will download all the photos here in the media. So everything will be accessible within the server. So click on import. So this will take a few minutes. As you can see right here, it will import this 3381. The records are uploading. You can do some more modification in your... Uh, here we will have... We would line to at least fix the, you know, this one single tattoo post. So let's say I want to have link going back to the uh, post, I mean child taxonomy, which this single tattoo shop is included. So we're going to prompt line to do that. So as you can see right here, we are using, uh, again, Gemini 2.5 Flash. And currently we, we sent 189,000 context window and the total spent, it's just 1.4 and we're almost done with our directory. So let's see now if this adds link. Okay, there you go. This is the main city where this tattoo shop belongs. So let's go back here and yep. As you can see right here, we went back to the list of uh, tattoo shop in waters. Now we will do, do the same in this archive state where it lists all the tattoo shop in this area. We will need to have a link going back to the state where this city belongs. Okay, so it modified taxonomy state. So hopefully this will have impact here. All right, there you go. There is the back to Queensland and we have it right here. Uh, really good. Oh, so coming back here, we have back to Queensland. For now, this is better because I just added where it is located, the actual state names of tattoo shops in Albion, Queensland. So I can just go back here and here tattoo shops in Queensland. So yeah, you can do that. So I'm going to do that manually uh, when I have an I'm, but at the moment, let's check the progress. So it's been, uh, you know, 40%. We can now see how it's looking. So we visit this and there you go. This is now our website. You can actually visit this and see this directory right here. So you, this is the address, tattooshopsaustralia.com. And you will see the final result of what we were working for a couple of days now. So let's check one of these dates right here. Let's go to Victoria in here. Let's go to Armadale. There you go. So uh, I think it, it, it works correctly with the correct team. We will just need to uh, modify the header and our own logo right here in the actual website, which you can do that easily. Well, anyway, I'm going to update you further on the progress of this Tattoo Shop Australia. But by now, you should be able to know all the information you need to launch your first directory. So when we go to the homepage right here, there you go. That's our homepage. This is live. So you can access this in tattooshopsaustralia.com. And here are our filters right here. So you can go to New South Wales. And these are all the listings we have. So it's uploading pretty quick. So there you go. We have the images. And when we go inside the actual this thing so we have the featured image which is nicely displayed and our nicely formatted listing right here and there you go i think that's all you need so far to launch your first directory again if you have any question just contact me to the email below or you can go to this page which i'm gonna put in the link in the description here you can access all this tutorial split into parts so that you can easily find which part you are confused and you can go back easily to which part you need more information so this is the page where you can access all the parts of this entire directory tutorial that's it see you in the next one and if you want you can access again this directory right here this is the website right here but of course we will have more work to do thank you and see you in the next one